Greeting fellow modelers. Take a look at this kit. An aircraft I admire for its huge folding wings and rotating dome. When I saw that they had the paper model version of it, I had to secure it. Presented a kit from 1999, the E2 Hawkeye. Now, it's a GPM kit, kit number 157 in the E series. I need to find out what that means. It's 133 scale, so this is a big kit. Even looking at the cover, high gloss finish from 1999, it's beautiful. And look at this model. Now, you can see the intro in Polish. You see the beautiful pictures of a finished model. My hope is that I could recolor this because to me, it's one of the most unusual kits that's out there. You see that folding wing? That is a characteristic of this Hawkeye. That prop, four-bladed turbo prop, I'm wondering if I can switch it out and make it multi-bladed to represent the latest version, E2D. And here we have the basic exploded diagram of the turboprop engine. You see a plan view split in half, showing the top and the underside. And this, the wing detail. This whole reason, well, one off, that I want to get this kit. Look at that detail. It shows you how to build it so you can practically do the insertion pins you can take and fold and you'd have a decent model so it is like you pull apart rotate and here's a pic that i got from my reference book and here is a video of it can't beat that and flipping over we see the radome now this is the other reason why i got it the construction looks very sturdy. The build-out looks very decent. And there is the air intake. Nice. And sliding over, you see this is the framework for the main wing. As you can see, this section you glue on to your hard copy stock. What's this? A pilot. They actually included pilots for you to cut and to fold out. And here we have the cockpit windows with the windshield wipers. And here's a radome. Beautiful. I love the fact that they make everything weathered. They have quote unquote painted it for you. So all you have to focus on is a construction. And the cardstock, 150 grams. It's pretty thick. I really appreciate that. And here you see the details and the underside of half the radome. Nice. The tail section. As you can see, it has its two main fin and what look like a sub fin. So we have the one here that's supposed to be on the left, I think love it you can just fold and fit the framework one on the right and then you have the two that balance midway the stabilizer the detail here of the fold wing and here we have the entry into the pilot's cockpit and you have to remember, this is a 1999 kit. Look at this. It's really not bad. The drawing and the shading is pretty good. Even the detail and the decals for and the logos for the birds. This is this is good. This is good. I am not lying. I really like this. This, however, when I got look at that. Even the detail showing where the prop blade warning is, you know, it, it is nice. I quite love it. So this one here, I will scan for my personal use and recolor and bring it up to date and probably give it more prop blades to turn it into the E2D version. 
and here we have the cockpit flooring instrument panel the seating someone could answer me did these ever have ejection seats in them or no and here the panels for the turboprop engine you see the prop spinner loving this and look at this the underside you can see the landing gear well nice the gear doors and again the quality paper yes a bit of rust remember this kit here i was fortunate to get it as a return kit so the price was not the original i got it personally for about i think it's 17 us dollars 17 us dollars for a 130 second scale plastic hawkeye kit is unheard of okay and the card model you can enjoy and here we have the other outer wing panel i love the fact that they made it weathered the leading edge with the what seems to be the di sim boot well i am assuming it's a di sim boot based on what uh civilian airliners and here are the pilots look at that you see how you can assemble them that's pretty interesting so look here i show you how to put it together that is neat i'm not going to lie that should be interesting i'm wondering if i should take the time to actually do the pilots that would be fun but only at the 133 scale look at that the hands the arms nice fuselage loving the artwork color and loving the layout and again you have to look and realize this must have been an exciting kit to have back in 1999 and here is the canopy cabin section there are the windshield wipers nice <laughs> i'm not going to lie and the stabilizer Stabilize and there is the midpoints I'm talking about for those small fin Which are probably called finlets for lack of a better word that goes right here. I Wonder what the framework for those like that must be pretty sturdy And here we have the prop blade again the underside of the radon but the prop blade like I said I want to make them into the actual curve ones for the e2d nice and the radome the other half the upper surface and here now we have the formers for the fuselage bulkhead this section you glue onto our card stock and it should be good what's this <laughs> they actually said hey here are some more diagram just in case you miss the one on the page this is how you put your palette together nice nice little touch you have to admit you know when they say they're giving you a kit they really gave you a kit and this here is the profile section of the stabilizer lovely correct angle and look how big that is that's to show you the size of the model my hand span it and you know it's big and here we now we have the panel parts is showing you all the labels so you should not get lost and building the fuselage I really appreciate this quite lovely if you look you see there's it's quite a bit I'm even seeing part number 123 panel that's underneath the rear of the fuselage I'll show you the cockpit area rudder pedal is included the main wing spar from the front view lovely and here are some more pictures and these pictures will 
help assist in what the show you what the model should look like there are the pilots <laughs> really the pilots caught me off guard i am not going to lie and the other little detail especially like this the radio um base nice this kit i'm so happy i got my hands on it yes it's a little crease that's a vickers wellington i wonder if it is still available and the seahawk but that's it for the e2 seahawk a lovely kit i can't wait to build this one i keep saying that for all my models i hope i have the time so until then my friends take care this kit worth it what good and one love